since I was last here, I am in Longxin ancient town, an old town that is located in what is still inside the Yubei district in downtown Chongqing. It's been a year since I was last here. I'm looking forward to see how this place looks. Last time I was here was the middle of summer and it was hot. Now it is uh, November and I think things are a little bit more quiet now. I hope I can still walk around, get some good photos and uh, show you guys what this place is like. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Mikhail Larsen. I am a photographer, videographer and freelance journalist currently based here in Chongqing, China. I am in uh, an old town called Longxing Ancient Town where I haven't been for just over a year. It's been a long time since I was last here. I'm hoping I can get one last stroll down through this ancient town before I have to move back to Denmark, which I will in a couple of weeks. So I don't have this episode planned out very well. Um, I don't know this area very well. This is only my third third or maybe fourth time here. It's not a place that I've been to many times before. Um, but I'm just going to try and see what I can get out of being here, walking down the streets, filming and taking pictures as I go along. So uh, yeah, let's go. really enjoy old streets like these. It's a completely different feeling from walking in the middle of the city. Completely different. Everything is much more relaxed, everything is a bit more rough and rustic, I guess you could call it. It's also much more quiet. There's a lot more silence here than, than you're used to in the city, for sure. But this is also partly because many of the shops that used to be here are closed. But it's still a really nice place to just walk around and just get away from everything. Ancient Town is at the same time very similar to but also very different from Sijiko which is an ancient town that you can find inside of downtown Chongqing. Sijiko is highly commercialized. It has a lot of people. The streets are very narrow uh, of course because it's so old but there are so many shops um, that to me Sijiko loses a little bit of that charm that was supposed to have by being an ancient city. Longxing is very 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 different because here most things remain old, they remain very natural. Hello. They remain very natural. They're not, uh, they're not overly developed. It's not very commercialized, it's still very local and it looks very real, which is different from, from what Sichiko feels like. That's one of the reasons why I like this place so much. So one of the other reasons I was here today is to film uh, a lady called Li Mei who 
can paint with sugar. It sounds very exotic. Um, something that was very popular in China many, many, many years ago. Very few people do it still. Uh, it's an incredible craft. It's very interesting to watch. She was kind enough to let me put my bags in her little shop so I could walk around a little bit easier. Just have to make sure I don't forget them <laughs> when I leave. So I'm back out from, uh, from filming that. I'll show you some of the clips that we got from filming the sugar painting. I actually filmed her um, back in, it must have been March or April, I think, when she was at Mountain City Alley. Um, we did a live stream with Shulin and filmed her, but I didn't get as much footage as I wanted because we were a bit in a, in a bit of a time crunch at the moment. So <clears throat> Today we got a lot more. We were in her apartment. Uh, she cooked up the, the sugar substance she uses to, to make the sugar paintings with. Um, and then we went to her store here in Longxing ancient town where she makes the sugar paintings and got to see how she makes all the different shapes that she does, which was interesting. So now it's just me and my camera and the fleeting weather. We had blue skies for a little bit earlier while we were filming the sugar painting. It's all gone white now, so we'll have to see what we can get. All right guys, that's going to be it for this time. I'm at the end of the pedestrian street. My SD cards are full of video clips. I shot way more video than I ever have before because we focus so much on the, on the lady who did the sugar painting. I haven't taken as many photos as I thought I would, but then again, this trip was mostly just about me enjoying being back here, possibly for the last time. So it was really nice to just walk down the streets once again, and I hope I get to go many more places before I leave. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go home and uh, edit photos and videos for a while to come, I think. I'll see you in the next one.